In this tutorial, we will teach you how to use custom conditional formatting in Excel. To start off the process, select the first cell of the data in your spreadsheet and press the Control, Shift, and End keys. The values will be selected. Now go to the Name bar and type in the name of the range. Once you have selected the data, click on the Conditional Formatting button under the Styles group in the Home tab. From the drop-down menu that appears, select between Data Bars, Color Scales, and Icon Sets here. Hover over the options given here and you will notice changes in your data. Click on any option and the relevant changes will be made to your data. Now go back to the Conditional Formatting button and select Color Scales. Here you can apply the Highlight Cells Rules option. Once you click on this, a number of options will appear. In this video, we are selecting the greater than rule and putting in a conditional value. To change the way the values will be formatted, click on the Custom Format button and choose the text and the background color of your choice. Once this has been done, click on the OK option. In order to remove the formatting, go back to the Conditional Formatting button and click on Clear Rules. Over here, select the Clear Rules from Entire Sheet option. You can also make new rules by clicking on the New Rule option from the drop-down menu. Once done, a new box will appear where you can select the rule type, format the style, and perform other such actions. Now go to the New Rule button and select the Format Only Cells That Contain option. Change the rule to greater than or equal to and enter the desired value. In this case, we are entering the value as 8000. Click on the Format button and change the font and the background color. Click on the OK button and preview the final output. To change the rules again, go to the Conditional Formatting button and click on the Manage Rules option. A box will appear that allows you to edit, delete, or add a new rule.